A few years ago, I spent some time on the hippest trip in America. Yep, I worked for Soul Train. While those days were adventurous, there were several lessons learned that are still relevant today. I sat down with author and former Soul Train writer Anitin Bariola II and TV executive Kennard Gibbs, and we discussed the top three things to know when launching or relaunching an entertainment brand. Hi, I'm Kennard Gibbs, former partner of Soul Train Holder. What's up? This is Anatom Burial II, president of the Burial S Group. Number one, a well thought out monetization strategy is still necessary times two. Brands can be wildly popular on one platform. However, generating revenue at scale online is no cakewalk. Because I think extending the brand, giving it more consumer contact points was very important. However, you know, certainly in a, an OTT type service, right? It's something that we would probably look at today, um, just given the amount of content that we had. Number two, utilize growth strategies that leverage content. And then the approach of Soul Train, Soul Train encompassed um, fashion, it encompassed dance, it encompassed music, all as a lifestyle. So right. that's why we felt that your content, your approach still works very well. It's literally a springboard and it allowed opportunity. Of course, it's mutually beneficial. I mean, I actually saw the stats. Number three, stay woke. Identification of a solid exit strategy can open new doors. Uh, it was pretty easy for us. I mean, the relationship with BET Networks was a strategic relationship mm -hmm. rooted in the fact that, you know, the DNA of BET Networks was also rooted in music. The culture, uh, the brand uh, was already understood, you know, by the BET. So from our perspective, it was a very good strategic kind of fit. Uh, it made a lot of sense as an exit. 